Hi, it's Bernie Goldbach on the 4th of May, 2014. I'm over on audioboo.fm forward slash topgold. Looking at the Sunday papers on youtube.com, topgold. There's a slant place there. And about the Sunday Business Post, scammed the copy, read a free copy of the Sindo, Sunday Independence, and also about the Sunday Times. Put the Sunday Times inside the Sunday Business Post. Definitely more value for money in the Sunday Business Post today over the Irish Sunday Times. Top story deals with Jerry Adams still uh, hanging out in, in jail. Who knows what's going to happen? And some other things. Uh, his party, the Sinn Féin party, may get three European seats. I'd give one of them, though, far west of Ireland to Ming Falanigan because he's got attitude. Um, if Paul O'Man, he's listening to this, deep suicide stories, depression stories, and the, the demise of funding and mental health programs in the U.S. And this pretty clever front page. Fergal Connor says the head of Aer Lingus gets his uh, big payoff. Uh, actually, it's a $1.5 million pay package. And when he got that, he gave a 750 bonus payment to staff. Nice one. And there's a story on the front page as well about council houses. Inside this paper, I'll pull some stuff that's interesting to me, Storyful interests me. Philip Conley has a story about how Storyful, that's an Irish startup, Mark Little News on Twitter founded it, Dublin-based Storyful, which will power its efforts, or will help Facebook power its news efforts. Pretty clever. Good way of uh, really making a proper news feed out of Facebook, but let's see what happens. Inside the paper, I wonder, I'm going to ask Jane Rufino, who I hope attends ICTEDU this Saturday, whether what she writes actually happened to her. I won't go into it specifically, but she does say uh, in a helicopter view that tech is a big informal network of gatekeepers who don't admit they are gatekeepers, where everyone wants to be in charge, but no one wants to take responsibility. Tech startups are fun and fine until there's an issue with community, at which point there's nowhere to turn. Lots of stuff emerging in the uh, places I read online about that. The bro culture has its sometimes turned. Everett Bott, if you're listening, the author Shortall has the story about social media getting a disaster role in the Sunday Times. It's in their news section. Trinity College Dublin, developing a 3 million euro system that uses social media websites such as Facebook, they should add Storyful to that, and Twitter, to help emergency services respond to natural disasters. Theoretically, there's a partnership between the Guardian Police Service of Northern Ireland, international security experts called Project Slandal. And I think, Everett, you were looking at that. You're probably looking at this, too. It's a Range Rover. Some good, big-ass Range Rovers show, showing up in Southeast Ireland during the Easter break. Jeez, they're all Brits, though. No one shouted stop, says Philip Connolly and Ian Keogh. It's about the Anglo trial. This thing, I mean, you can buy a book about all the stuff that's happened, but like you have people who are well paid as regulators and are now well paid in retirement who just don't remember what happened. The system in which Patrick Neary, who was the financial regulator, worked was dysfunctional. It's like designed that way. And I think the only way you're going to prevent a system like this from happening in the future is to have better open transparency to folks like David McWilliams or Morgan Kelly. So they can write the FOIs, the Freedom of Information Request, without getting smacked. Hey, here's Chris Horn, the Sunday interview in the Sunday Post. The interview is done by Barry White. And he says, Ireland's future can only be secured by securing a spirit of entrepreneurship. I agree with that. It's up to me to bring that into our curriculum where I teach Limerick School of Art and Design. I'm also trying to teach a teenage boy who's not yet a teenager. That would be Dylan, my two-year-old. India Knight writes stuff about teenage boys who can be a bit lost, trailing tragically behind the girls in terms of sophistication. Who's looking after them? Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Communication breaks down. Bad things happen. I'm hoping to get back into where I'm flying and doing manual things because we've got a two-year-old, Dylan. When he turns teenage, I know he's going to want to do stuff with buttons and dials and levers and maybe drive this kind of car. It's a BMW i8. I don't think we're ever going to be able to afford a 136,000 euro car, but maybe when it's 10 years old, it'll be available in the banger market for under 5,000 euro. Let's check it out then. 362 horsepower. Vroom, vroom. 
Max speed, 250 kilometers an hour. Teenagers will love that, don't you think? And, um, well, the reviewer, who's Kyle Fortune, disliked those tiny rear seats. That's okay. You're driving as a teenager. You don't want the teenagers in the back seat. Come on. Purely excessed and hot from the engine. <laughs> you want hot in a, in a fast car. Give me a break. The i8 demonstrates that a greener, more responsible future doesn't have to be one mired in the ordinary. Indeed, it promises just the opposite. Look at those blue lights coming at you on the road. You'll want one of them. Or get out of the way of one of them. My goodness, McGinnis. The stories are running about John McGinnis in all the papers today. Michael Brennan, the political correspondent, Sunday Business Toast, says, McGinnis, John McGinnis, who's helped me out before, so I should declare that. Actually, <laughs> he represented me, which didn't necessarily help me out uh, when I had a passport problem. Witch Finder General is what he calls them. Uh, in the Sunday Independent, they call them the uh, political Putin or Fianna Foyle's uh, Putinist person. Um, lots of people locally in Kilkenny knew that he could have delivered jobs during the boom, but because he uh, burned so many bridges with Bertie, those things didn't happen. But then he got reelected because he did burn the bridges. Hey, what's Justine McCarthy say about pay packets? He, she says, hit Boucher's gilded court where it hurts in his own pocket. Basically, he's point, she's pointing out something that bugs me a lot. You go walking into any kind of a bank with the AIB or Bank of Ireland, you get directed to a machine and a wall where you conduct your transaction. As the old joke goes, if money doesn't grow on trees, why do banks have branches? You know, I lodge um, more than 800 euro in BOI every month, and I'm going to keep doing it manually because this is something that's occurring. I mean, it's just amazing to see how everything, except the credit unions, are going to automation and away from face-to-face -face contact with people. Writing isn't on the wall for bookstores, Paul Manny. Sandra O'Connell says, sure enough, bookstores might be up against the challenge, but here's one. Janet Hawkins, Blessington Bookstore in 2005, had a look at trying to figure out uh, how to make ebooks part of her trade. So she used this thing called the Enterprise Ireland Innovation Voucher Scheme, bought 5,000 euro worth of R&D from a local college to help her devise a way to sell ebooks in the store. I could do that. Maybe I'll, I'll conceptualize that. Maybe I'll hold on to this item. Maybe I'll talk to her and see, what are you doing? Maybe I'll visit her. That's what I should do. Go to the Blessington Bookstore. See how you can actually buy an ebook online. The reverse to, on, um, to showrooming. Unstructured data is crucial for the enterprise and SME market. This is an analytics and big data story written by Paul Reardon of Oracle. But J.J. Worrell's got the byline. Someone that would work for a small business like Key words, key phrases, and any number of patterns of those words are important to try to make meaning out of the semantic flow of information that comes by you. And then you merge all that with structured data, like calendar events or check-ins or stuff like that. That's what I got to do. But first, we have to get a proper Hoover. I can't get a proper Hoover. So here's the story. I want one of these SIBO automatics made by SIBO.co.uk. Is it German? Where's a bridge? Let's see. Let's read about it. Make things easy to do. Made in Germany. Built to last. Yes. You can enjoy user-friendly design. Now, when I was seven, we had one of these things with a headlight on front. So I want to try to see, can I get a SIBO or anything that's upright that has a headlamp? Because I know Dylan would love, would love to hoover up stuff, even if it didn't need hoovering up. SIBO, S-C-B-O dot code UK. Five-year guarantee. Weren't much. I'll stop talking about this. People think they're sponsoring me or something. I wouldn't mind that, and I wouldn't mind a vroom vroom Ford Mustang. So we're saving our euro that the Tooth Fairy gives us so we can go to the United States and drive one of these things around. So I bought this in Arizona. Dylan likes Ford Mustang. I got him a red one. And a black one. And then outside, McAlgan, if you're listening to this on Old Yibu, you got to check this out. I'm going to try to make our clematis look friendlier than this and fix that back garden that you can look at. There are problems. I'm Bernie, Top Gold and Good Social Networks, Blown American and County Tip, where right now the flowers are out, the sky is gloomy, and the rain's going to fall. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.